Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This here is a 10 frame hive body and uh, I plan on reducing all the 10 frame boxes that I have down to 8 frame boxes but for now um, we're in October and it's getting cold. Today's in the 50s. I need to start thinking about winterizing the bees and I had purchased this Vivaldi board and uh, this allows the moisture to escape uh, one year that I overwintered bees. I just put burlap in the top here and it seemed to work out. The only problem is when you lift up the burlap to take a look at the bees, you know, the bees are have access to the burlap and uh, opening up the box. So I might put a, a piece of, um, well, I'm going to put a piece of screen. Uh, I just don't know whether I want to open this up to a larger uh, circle or not. But yeah, uh, I need to cut this down, and I was thinking I was just going to initially just do cut one side, but after measuring, um, I want this all centered. I need to take off one and a quarter inches off of each side here, and I'm not going to use any of this, I forget what they call this joint here, but I'll just uh, do a bunch of passes to do sort of like a lap joint um, with the cut down side here. So I have it all measured out, and I just need to figure out how to use this on the table saw. I was going to use a fence, but then that didn't seem, this is too narrow to slide it along the fence to be stable. So um, I'm going to bolt it onto that, um, and hopefully that'll get me somewhat, give me somewhat accurate cuts. And yeah, hopefully this isn't glued and the plywood isn't glued in the slot. That's the plan. So I have a nice Vivaldi board. I can add uh, insulation, the uh, burlap, plus uh, cut a piece of styrofoam. So that's the plan. Cut this down. So I was only able to get a clamp on one side here. I'll hold it with my hand on the other side. Keep it up against the fence. So let's give this a try. And I'm making sure that the teeth are on the outside of the line. So that looks like it worked. I adjusted the blade for the thickness of the wood there. Um, and I'll be cutting down that that plywood so hopefully this works out. Alright let's see if I can take this apart. I wonder if they glued that. Hmm. Is there glue in there? You know what it could be just um, propolis from the bees. Yep I think that's what it was. There it goes. Just needed some extra force there. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, I went through the nails. That's not good, but they're just staples, I guess, or well, the nails. <laughs> all right. So I have it all apart. These I don't need to. Hmm. Seems like I. Probably need to remeasure these to see how close they are. Might need to do some fine tuning, but uh, let's see. Yeah, somehow that's a little bit shy of the line there, too much. So I need to cut these down. You know what? I don't need to get fancy on this. I'm just going to cut the ends off. And um, not do any type of joinery, just a butt joint. All right, I can make quick work of this on the miter saw. Just set up a stop here. All right, I just need to cut the plywood now, and I think I need to take off um, one and three sixteenths. From each side 
I just, uh, you know, put these boards together and measured, try to measure inside the slot for, my, for both ends here, and it measures 13 inches. Um, so I'll give that a try. You can always trim off a little bit extra. I, one thing I didn't account for is the slot here. Um, yeah, the plywood's going to fill that up. I could use some type of uh, silicone or wood putty to fill that in, but it's not that critical. Okay, I already assembled this to see if everything fits, and it does, so just need to nail this up. Alright, I didn't want to bore you with the glue up and the nailing. I did add glue, a Gorilla Glue exterior, and then three nails in the corners, and it fits. So, when I get a chance, I still have to uh, remove the Apovar strips, I guess. And um, I'll add this Vivaldi board. I forgot, I don't know if this came with the Vivaldi board. I forgot I had this. You put that over the hole there. And you put the burlap on top. And when you go to look at the bees, you know, they won't come out on the burlap or get stuck in the burlap. So I'm glad I finished that project. So like I said, I can add this now to that eight frame hive body and hopefully... Um, those bees will make it through the winter. I'm debating on whether or not I should add... I've got some um, some frames in the, in the hive that just have the plastic foundation wax coated. Um, and I was wondering if I should replace them with some drawn out comb, but I don't think bees draw comb out in the winter time. So I was thinking of doing that um, so they have a place to store the nectar that I've been feeding them and uh, see if they still take the nectar if they haven't emptied it out since I last filled it up. Um, but I guess I'll be adding, you know, either pollen patty or uh, sugar or a candy to, to the inside of this here. Um, yeah, I didn't want them to fill up uh, all their drawn out comb with nectar so the queen didn't have anything any space to lay in so yep okay so I get the Vivaldi board this is New England gardening thanks for watching oh and just a little addition while I'm at it I thought about this piece of foam that I need to resize underneath the top cover so there we go. so this goes in here and I just need to trim off that So this just fits like that, and the top cover goes on there. Now I'm finished. So this is New England Gardening. Just wanted to take care of this project today. Thanks for watching.